As one of the most iconic cities in the world, New York City has a lot to offer every type of traveler. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we look at the 25 best places to visit in New York City. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So the first thing you have to see is the Statue of Liberty, arguably America's most iconic statue. The Statue of Liberty has to be at the top of your New York bucket list. Built in 1886, Lady Liberty continues to stand tall as a symbol of freedom. Book tickets in advance if you want to head up to the crown of the Statue of Liberty and always plan to visit in the morning to avoid the queues. Offering breathtaking views of the city, Top of the Rock is a tourist must found in the Rockefeller Center. Take the NBC tour, enjoy a bit of shopping, and then head up to the observation deck to take in an amazing view of the New York City skyline. For another amazing viewpoint, head to the Empire State Building. This is a historic building in itself, and nothing beats heading to the two observatories for views of the city and beyond. On a clear day, you can see the neighboring states. Bright lights and endless crowds, Times Square is the place to be in New York City. We have a guide to the best things to do in Times Square, but remember to check out the fun stores and take an iconic photograph in the middle of the square. Whether you are looking for a walk, pedal or carriage ride, you need to visit Central Park during your time in New York City. This is a huge park, meaning you could easily spend a whole day here. Visit Strawberry Fields, Belvedere Castle, Central Park Zoo and the lake whilst you're in the park. And remember to pick up a map at one of the visitor centers to avoid getting lost. The next thing you have to do while you're in New York City is visit the Brooklyn Bridge. With Gothic architecture, the Brooklyn Bridge is a unique and recognizable landmark in the city. Catch a water taxi across to Brooklyn and then take a walk along the famous bridge on the Wood Plank Walkway. Whilst in Manhattan, make sure to check out Grand Central Terminal. This train station again is iconic and worth a visit whilst you're in New York. The building opened in 1913 as a terminal for the subway and train station, but is known for its beautifully restored ceiling and grand staircase. If you love the theater, then you must visit Broadway. We have a whole blog post about how to get cheaper Broadway tickets on our website, Creative Travel Guide, but book tickets in advance if you have a specific show that you want to see. Personally, my top choices are Wicked and The Lion King. Alternatively, you should head to Radio City Music Hall. This famous entertainment venue is a must visit for those that love dance. Watch the Rockettes perform in this Art Deco theatre or take a backstage tour of this historic building. Paying tribute to almost 3,000 people killed as a result of the attacks on September the 11th, you need to visit the 9-11 Memorial and Museum in New York City. The museum includes artefacts, photos and videos that represent the story of 9-11, the aftermath and the impact. Another thing to do while you're in New York City is to go on the High Line. So the expanding and exciting High Line is a former rail track that has been transformed into an urban walking trail. This is a public park and walkway that stands above the city, offering a unique oasis in the bustling city that never sleeps. Also known as the Met, the Metropolitan Museum of Art is one of the most famous museums in the United States. Located across three sites, you can find a permanent collection of over 2 million works of art that cross 5,000 years of history. 
As one of the most famous shopping districts in the US, Fifth Avenue is the place to be if you are looking for some seriously expensive shopping. Expect stores like Tiffany and Saks Fifth Avenue along with the famous Apple Store. Even if you don't have the budget, there is no harm in window shopping. Head to the top of the One World Trade Center building for fantastic views of the city in this uniquely structured glass building. The New York Public Library is another top place that you need to visit whilst you're in New York. This public library is an icon in the city with impressive architecture that has made many appearances in TV and film. The library is free to visit and often has exhibits open to the public. Just opposite the New York Public Library is Bryant Park. It is a beautiful urban oasis in the heart of the city. Pick up a book from the outdoor library stand and relax in the park. Spanning from Broadway to South Street, the famous Wall Street is an interesting place to visit whilst you're in New York City. Look for the bronze statue of the Charging Bull, visit the gorgeous Trinity Church and explore the important neighborhood. Another must-see whilst you're in New York City is St. Patrick's Cathedral. One of the best examples of Gothic architecture in New York, the cathedral is a beautiful work of art that juxtaposes with the skyscrapers of Manhattan. With huge bronze doors, 330-foot spires, rose windows and a great organ, there is plenty to admire at the St. Patrick's Cathedral. Artists need to head to the Museum of Modern Art while you are in Midtown Manhattan. It has the world's most extraordinary collection of modern and contemporary art and is a must visit for anyone who loves art. Take a break from the hustle and bustle of Manhattan and head to Coney Island, a neighborhood and amusement park known for its oldest functioning roller coaster and Nathan's Hot Dog. In New York City, the next thing you have to do is to catch a game. Whether it is baseball, basketball, football or ice hockey, there is nothing like watching the sports in the Big Apple. The Yankees are a must-see if you are in New York City during the season. Short on time in NYC? Make sure to jump on a hop-on, hop-off bus to see the monuments and buildings around the city in just one day. These big bus tours take you around the city and give you views of places like the Flatiron Building and the Chrysler Building. Whilst you're in New York City, we recommend that you escape land and head onto the river. A Hudson River cruise is a great way to see New York City from a different perspective. Whether it is a yellow boat taxi, a luxury yacht or a pirate themed clipper boat, get yourself on the Hudson River. Another place to visit is Ellis Island. As the USA's main immigration entry point for 62 years, Ellis Island has played an important role in America's history. To truly appreciate the island, catch a statue cruise ferry over to view the historic site, visit the Treasures from Home exhibit, and do some digging on your own family tree at the American Family Immigration History Center. And perhaps one of my favorite things to do in New York City, eat your way around New York City. So eating at the best restaurants, eateries and street stands is one of the best things to do in New York City. Head to Cat's Deli for the best pastrami sandwiches around, tour the pizza spots around the city or head to Chinatown for some cheap delicious eats under $10. If you are looking to save some money in New York City, make sure to watch this video. If you plan on visiting the Statue of Liberty and to find out how to visit the Crown, make sure to watch this video. We hope you have a wonderful time in New York City. Stay creative.